All right, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to add a set of parts to a library, some custom library. So first of all, before we do that, let's understand how libraries actually work or are interpreted in ORCAD Capture. A library is basically just a box that holds a bunch of parts in it. So you might have a resistor, a capacitor, an inductor, and this is your custom library. You know, you can call it my library right and this is just your box of components like if you're doing some hobby project you pull these out you put them on your breadboard and then you start building your electronics in orcad this is the digital or digitized version of this so we have an olb orcad capture calls this box your olb and i don't know why that is but it is the library that holds your parts so now when we want to build a schematic, we just pull any of these out and we have infinite copies of these digitally and then put them on the breadboard, which would be your similar to our schematic, right? So let me show you how to do that. And that's how libraries work. So I'm going to clear this drawing and let me show you. Here, so we have this folder for any new project where we can right click and add an existing library like these ones that exist already in the installation folder, but we're going to create our own. So go to File, New, Library inside an existing project, and this library gets created. Now what you can do is just right click Save, and then you can call it My Library 1 or something like that. Maybe this has your inductors, resistors, connectors, and all of that stuff. Then what you can do right is you can right click and put a new part into this library. Let's say we'll call it a resistor example. It'll have a part reference designator of R PCB footprint of let's say R 1202 or 1210. And then parts per package homogeneous. We'll go with part numbering is alpha alphabetic and click OK. This creates a part and then we can build our part from scratch where you place the parts. OK, cool. With that being said, I can also add an existing library so we can right click add file and we can go into the discrete library this discrete library is just another box of components but the thing is it already has components whereas our custom library does not or at least it has one component that isn't drawn yet but it's, it's incomplete i don't want to go through all the trouble of making components from scratch so i would go into this library and see what parts i want and then I can click on here, hold down the control key, and I say, oh, you know, I want these, and I want to copy them. So then I would then put them into my, my own library by right-clicking my library and pasting them. And then voila. Now I'm going to close my resistor example because it's an empty part. But here we have my own custom library, and then we have this default library that was already created. I'm going to cut this library to remove it from my project. Right, so what does this do once we add the library to our project? Well, you might have noticed here that there was only the design cache on the right side. But once we add a library to our project, it automatically gets added to the place part list option automatically. Then we can scroll and select any part we want from this library. Now, unfortunately, you're not able to edit parts on the libraries over here. You're just able to select them. They're pre-configured and all that stuff. But if you want to make changes in the library itself or any of the parts, you can do that on the left side. Now, this really could get into uh, something like library organization. Here, just take a look at an example of what Cadence did. You can right-click add a file, right? And notice that they have a library just for amplifiers, just for capture symbols just for DRAM just for FPGAs so you can categorize your opponents your box of components well your multiple components into these different boxes like think of them as physical boxes where you just have a box of transistors a box of SRAM a box of shift registers a box of regulators and when you add those you can make use of them they automatically populate into your right side menu there you go and you can double click place them okay for use now there's so much i could go into with this uh, but that's just to answer a few questions that i got about 
how do you make use of the parts in libraries? And let's say if you download a part from the Ultra Librarian online portal and it creates this OLB that only has one library part in it. When you open that library part, you can always select the part, right click, copy, and then just add it to your own custom library by right clicking and choosing paste. The part gets added and then you can move on and you can get rid of the library you copied it from. Okay. And then once you do do that, you want to like update the library by hitting the reload library parts option. And then you get, you get that option there. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.